Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucy and in today's video, I'm filming another book haul. I've accumulated a lot of books. Well, that's an understatement. So to provide some context, these books are from Christmas. They're also from after Christmas because you may have seen, if you're from the UK, that Waterstones did a half price hardback sale and I couldn't not go to town. I've also received lots of lovely books from publishers. So thanks to all those publishers who sent me the most beautiful proofs of books coming out this year. I'll go through each one and tell you the publication date and what it's about. But without further ado, let's just get cracking on the book haul. So these aren't in any particular order. I'm just literally gonna pick stuff up off a stack. So the first one is one that I am super, super hyped about. It is a kind of like fantasy romance and it is King of Battle and Blood by Scarlett St. Clair. This was very kindly gifted to me from Black Crow PR. So thank you to Jamie Lee for kindly sending this my way. So Scarlett St. Clair is a fantasy romance author who wrote A Touch of Darkness, which was basically a retelling of Hades and Persephone. I actually read that towards the end of 2021. I'm really excited that this, I believe, is the start of a new series and it's about vampires. And I think the setting isn't urban fantasy, which kind of makes me feel a little bit better. For some reason, I just don't really get on with urban fantasy and I'm not really sure why, but this sounds incredible. So let me just read you the blurb on the back. It says, Isolde Delara considers her wedding day to be her day of death. To end a years long war and protect the people of her kingdom, she is to marry the vampire king, Adrian Alexander Vasiliev, and kill him. But her assassination attempt is thwarted and Adrian warns that if Isolde tries to kill him again, he will raise her as the undead. Faced with the possibility of becoming the thing she hates the most, Isolde seeks other ways to defy him and survive the violence and political machinations of Adrian's brutal vampire court. Except it isn't the court she ends up fearing the most. It's Adrian and her intense attraction to him. Of course it is. I think this will be amazing. I have heard really good things and the fact that this is fantasy romance, you know, human, vampire, it sounds incredible. I've also heard that this is very, very spicy and I'm very excited to see what that looks like. I think it will be awesome and I'm really, really pumped about reading this book very soon. So the next book was kindly sent to me from Simon & Schuster, so thanks to you guys for that. And it is Here's To Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. This is the follow-up to one of my favourite books ever, which is What If It's Us, which is a kind of YA contemporary novel about two boys who fall in love and basically chase each other around New York City and it's just pure joy. If you've not read What If It's Us, I really would recommend it. I adored that book. This is actually the sequel and I was so pumped to hear that this book was coming out because, you know, I need more Ben and Arthur in my life, God damn it. So I am so, so pumped about this. I'm not gonna go too much into the plot of this book, but it's set two years following the events of What If It's Us and that book kind of ends a certain way. So I'm hoping that this book will just be, you know, what I want basically um, and I'm really really looking forward to reading Here's To Us. This is out now so I'll leave a link down in the description bar where you can pick this up. Another proof copy was kindly sent my way and this one was sent from Farshore Books. It is Twin Crowns by Catherine Weber and Catherine Doyle. So first off let's have a moment of appreciation for this proof copy. I mean like is this not a thing of beauty? Look at it guys, it is so, so stunning. Oh my God. So this book actually featured in my most anticipated books of 2022 video, which I'll leave linked down below. But basically this book is about two sisters who were separated at birth and are basically both fighting it out for the crown. So this sounds amazing. I've heard that there's like romance in here, there's kind of betrayal, there's magic in here. And honestly, this just sounds perfect. I was so, so excited to hear that Catherine Weber and Catherine Doyle, two of my favourite authors are writing together. So I'm really, really excited for Twin Crowns and I'll let you guys know my thoughts very, very soon. The next book was kindly sent to me from Icon Books and this is Children of Sugarcane by Joanne Joseph. 
This also featured in my most anticipated books of 2022 video, which I think a lot of these books will. So do watch that video if you've not watched it already. This book is basically a multi-generational saga, I guess, about Shanti, who is from India and basically moved to South Africa to start afresh and to escape an arranged marriage. This spans over four decades and two continents, and it says, Children of Sugarcane demonstrates the life-giving power of love, heartache, and the indestructible bonds between family and friends. So this sounds amazing and i really love books that are really wide in scope so the fact that this spans over 40 years two continents sounds amazing and i really hope to read this one soon i've heard really good things the next book was kindly sent my way from harville secker so thank you guys for sending this out to me this is one of my most anticipated books of the year it sounds absolutely phenomenal it is Pandora by Susan Stokes Chapman and it's in the vein of a Greek mythology retelling. So I have heard amazing things about this book, but also the hardback is like absolutely stunning. So let me explain the blurb to you. It says, London 1799. Dora Blake is an aspiring jewellery artist who lives with her uncle in what used to be her parents' famed shop of antiquities. When a mysterious Greek vase is delivered, Dora is intrigued by her uncle's suspicious behaviour and enlists the help of Edward Lawrence, a young antiquarian scholar. Edward sees the ancient vase as key to unlocking his academic future. Dora sees it as a chance to restore the shop to its former glory and to escape her nefarious uncle. But what Edward discovers about the vase has Dora questioning everything she has believed about her life her family and the world as she knows it. As Dora uncovers the truth, she starts to realise that some mysteries are buried and some doors locked for a reason. So this just sounds phenomenal and I'm loving the, and I'm really loving the resurgence of Greek mythology inspired books coming out. The fact that this does something different, setting it in London in the 1700s, is really really fascinating to me and i'm really intrigued to see how that is pulled off and what the link is to pandora which is obviously the title of the book so bear with me i will be reading this one soon and hopefully this will feature in a video very very shortly the next proof i received from vintage books is one that i am honestly so so excited about guys it is tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabrielle zevin so first off, let, let's like appreciate how cool the proof is. So it's in an old fashioned like slipcase, basically like an old PC game. So you open it up like this. And here's the proof. How cool is that? Oh my God. It looks absolutely awesome. And this book sounds phenomenal. So Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow is basically a love story about video gaming. And it's about two people who really connect via video games. It says Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow takes us on a dazzling imaginative quest as it examines the nature of identity, creativity, disability, failure, the redemptive possibilities in play, and above all, I need to connect, to be loved and to love. So this is also featured on my 2022 most anticipated video. I am seeing this book everywhere, and I think this one comes out in July, so we are way off. The fact that I already have July proofs is quite hilarious because like, I am the worst at reading books when they come out. So hopefully the fact that I've got like seven months to read this will be a good thing. And I'll be able to read this like around release and tell you all about it. So thank you to Vintage for kindly sending me one of these very, very special proofs. Okay, the next two books were actually the books that I picked up in the Waterstones hardback sale and they both sound amazing and they are both books that i have wanted to add to my collection for the longest time so the first one is iron widow and this is by ziran j zhao i've been seeing iron widow everywhere and like honestly this cover is amazing i've just heard so many good things about this i've heard that this book is like a bit mad like the concept is very high concept like it's a bit crazy but I've also heard phenomenal things about the writing and just the scope of this novel. So this book is described as The Handmaid's Tale meets Pacific Rim. And it says, in this dazzling blend of Chinese history and mecha science fiction. So this sounds absolutely like amazing, the fact that it's mashing up all these different things. I've also heard that this features polyamory. So I'm intrigued to see how that kind of like plays out in the page. 
I've not read many books at all that feature polyamorous relationships, so I would be really intrigued to see what Iron Widow is like. Do let me know down in the comments if you have read this book and what you thought about it. The next book I picked up in the Waterstones hardback sale was Jade Fire Gold, and this is by June C.L. Tan. So I think this is the start of a new series. I just saw this and I was like, I do want to read that. I've been seeing it everywhere. It's described as Girls of Paper and Fire meets A Song of Wraiths and Ruin. And it says it's a stunning debut where ferocious action, shadowy intrigue, rich magic, and a captivating slow burn romance collide. That has everything I need, to be honest. Like everything on there is like a massive tick. This is also a book that's described as like happening on the brink of a war. So I'm really, really excited to read Jade Fargold. And can you believe this book was like six pound in the sale, so. I think I've looked out there. I'm really, really happy that I made these purchases. The next book I bought was actually a pre-order of mine that I pre-ordered before Christmas, and it's just come out, and it is Dark Rise by C.S. Pacat. So this is a new release, and actually I'm a huge fan already of C.S. Pacat's work. I read her, what was it called? The Captive Print series. Oh my God. If you want a very dark, gritty fantasy romance series to read, the Captive Print series by C.S. Picat is the one. It's amazing. It's an LGBT romance and let's just say it's very adult. It is on the darker end, but I really would recommend that. So when I read that C.S. Picat was coming out with a YA fantasy series, I had to pick up Dark Rise. The cover, like how beautiful is that? I... I love it. I love this cover so much. So this is an epic kind of fantasy world, I believe, set in London and promises a delicious fantasy world. So I don't even really know fully what this book is about, but I knew I needed to get it because it's C.S. Picat. I love her work and I really would love to know if you are picking this book up and if you have already read it, what you thought about it. So the rest of these books are kindly sent to me from publishers as well. There have been a lot of books sent to me from publishing houses, so I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you in advance to all the publishers who did send me books. I did a big shout out on social media, basically ahead of my most anticipated books of 2022 video. And in response, a load of publishers just sent me some amazing books. So the first one I received was this beautiful kind of proof package here. First off, Let's just talk about this wrapping paper. It is honestly the most beautiful thing. So I think I know what this is, but I'm really excited to do a little unboxing or unwrapping of what this book is. Um, this is a daily novel, I believe. And it is The Balloon Thief by Anissa Marufu. So this also featured on my 2022 most anticipated books, but this is a YA fantasy book that basically features um, a girl who is escaping an arranged marriage, I believe. Yes, an arranged betrothal. And she flees to the skies. She spots a hot air balloon and she basically manages to escape in this hot air balloon. But along the way, she actually meets a boy who is from a very different place to her and is on the surface a rival, but they have to work together to truly kind of escape this world. So this draws on a lot of South Asian history and kind of folklore. And it says it explores racism, misogyny, and discrimination in a highly original fantasy universe for fans of Noughts and Crosses, We Hunt the Flame, and Rebel of the Sands. Yes, I'm so on board for this book. The Balloon Thief sounds absolutely amazing and it is publishing in March 2022. So keep an eye out for this one. I obviously don't have the cover here, but it is a beautiful cover as well. So I'm super, super excited about The Balloon Thief. The next book I received is one that we're actually publishing at HarperCollins, which is the publishing company I work for. This is publishing from a different kind of division within HarperCollins, so I actually am not working on this book. It's not part of the division I work for, but it is part of HarperCollins. So I wanted to just flag that. I got this proof after hearing about this book in our company highlights presentation. And this is A Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting by Sophie Irwin, and it's coming out in May. So this is a Regency romp and is for fans of Bridgerton, Jane Austen, I am honestly so, so excited. 
So it says, in 1818, fortune doesn't favour women, but it always favours the brave. And it says, Kitty Talbot and her sisters have just 12 weeks until their family home is repossessed. There's only one thing for Kitty to do, launch herself into London society and bag a rich husband. Nobody can stand in her way, except perhaps Lord Radcliffe, whose keen gaze cuts straight through Kitty's meticulous ruse. The season is about to begin and there's not a minute to lose. So this sounds incredible, like it sounds super humorous and like it's gonna be super lighthearted and also romantic. And I love the kind of idea already that there is a Lord who just sees right through her and no doubt they end up falling in love, so it sounds perfect to me. So this is out in May, as I said, and this is my type of book to a T. So this is definitely one to keep on your radar if you are fans of historical romance. And the next book I received from Viking Books is The Key in the Lock, and this is by Beth Underdown. So how beautiful as well is this hardback? I mean, I love, love, love the foil and the look of the cover. And this book is actually by the author of The Witchfinder's Sister, which was huge a few years back. I remember that book being everywhere. So I'm super excited about this book. But it says, from the award-winning author of The Witchfinder's Sister comes a captivating story of slow burning secrets and shame and of the loyalty and love that rise from the ashes. So this is a historical kind of mystery, I guess. And it sounds perfect to me. Like, I am so up for reading this book and I'm really, really keen to read a lot more historical fiction this year. So if you have any recommendations, do leave them down below. But I believe this comes out very, very soon or it might be out already. I will leave a link to it down in the description bar below. The next book that was kindly sent my way was another book that has featured in my most anticipated books video. I'll stop saying that because I feel like all of these books have featured but it is the gifts and this is by liz hyder so this book sounds like super fascinating it is liz hyder's adult debut and it's basically about a woman who is found wandering the woods and these huge massive wings rip from her shoulders meanwhile there's all these rumors about this fallen angel which is kind of spreading around london and there's got and there's this kind of frenzy about this fallen angel it says set against the luminous backdrop of 19th century london this astonishing novel explores or science, nature and religion, enlightenment, the role of women in society and the dark danger of ambition. So this is another historical fiction book that sounds super compelling and this book is out in February so I'm really keen to read this one very very soon. So the final book was kindly sent to me from Orion Books, in particular my lovely friend Charlotte and this is What Time Is Love by Holly Williams. First off the proof is beautiful, I really love the colourways it's a thing of beauty. This is out in May 2022, so we've still got a little while, but let me say that this book sounds like it's going to be the most amazing book. It is a romance, and it is speculative romance, which means there is kind of a magical twist or a fantasy-esque twist to it. So it says, when Violet and Albert first meet, they are always 20. Over the decades, their lives collide over and over again beneath Oxford spires and on the rolling hills of Abergavenny, in stately homes and feminist squats. Together they must overcome differences in class, privilege, sexuality and ambition, whilst the world around them changes in ways they never could imagined. And soon they are forced to question, what if they met the right person at the wrong time? This sounds incredible and I am so keen to read this. It says it's perfect for fans of One Day by David Nichols, Miss You by Kate Evelyn and The Versions of Us by Laura Barnett. So this sounds perfect and I am so in the mood for like a very high concept speculative romance so keep an eye out for this book publishing in june i think that is it for my huge book haul which i didn't mean to accumulate all these books after so recently doing a book haul but the world works in mysterious ways i have managed to just get all the books huge thanks has to go to all the publishers who kindly sent me books to read and review this year I'm so grateful. So thank you if you did send me a book and huge thanks to you guys for watching this video and for supporting me in general. I really do appreciate you all. All the books mentioned will be linked down below and do check them out. I think there's some absolute corkers on this list which I cannot wait to read. And I'll see you very soon for my next video guys. Bye!